Athlete A. That's what Maggie Nichols was known as in the Larry Nassar sexual abuse scandal. To protect her identity until she claimed that identity. Announced she was a victim, a survivor who is thriving, even as a pandemic cut her competitive gymnastics career short. A world-class gymnast. A daughter. A friend. Athlete A in the Larry Nassar scandal. They are all parts of Maggie Nichols. Always people know her. Always she's defined, for better or worse. Do you ever get tired of always being associated with athlete A mm -hmm. and the Larry Nassar scandal? Sometimes it does get a little bit tiring um, just because it is a very sensitive subject. Former USA Gymnastics team doctor Larry Nasser will serve the rest of his life in prison after being convicted of sexual assault and possession of child pornography. Hundreds of athletes have come forward saying Nasser sexually abused them when he was supposed to be medically treating them. Maggie Nichols says USA Gymnastics protected Nasser and she's part of a lawsuit against the organization. I can't even think about it. It makes my skin boil a little bit. If they would have, you know, handled things right away, I mean, so many girls wouldn't have to have gone through that. USA Gymnastics sent Fox 23 a statement for this story. It reads in part, We are deeply committed to learning from the mistakes of the past and the mishandling of the horrific abuse perpetrated by Larry Nasser. It goes on to read, the organization is changing the culture within our community so that something like this cannot be allowed to happen again. Maggie was the first one to report Nasser to USA Gymnastics when she was only 17 years old. She didn't publicly announce she's athlete A until two and a half years later in a statement released in January of 2018. Later that same month, Maggie's mother, Gina, read the statement at Larry Nasser's sentencing. I want everyone to know that he did not do this to athlete A, he did it to Maggie Nichols. And Gina had her own words for Nasser too. You actually are not a real doctor. You're not a doctor at all. You're a serial child molester, a pedophile. It meant the world that she could do that for me because I do not like to talk about it too much, but I mean it is something that happened and something that I am able to use my voice with and to help other people. And she has. Um, this one says, hi, I just want you to know how much of an inspiration you are to me. Maggie knows it from the messages she gets on social media. You inspire me to be strong whenever I'm facing adversity and I can't thank you enough. Maggie, we want you to She knows it from fans at her meets. Who's your favorite gymnast? Maggie. And she knows it because Larry Nasser is behind bars. Maggie's parents know it too. She saved, you know, many, many girls. She may never meet them, she may never see them, but she saved many, many. People call her a hero. Whenever you hear that, how do you feel? She's a hero. Mm -hmm. She is a hero. There's a part here I wanted to show you of your dad. If you just want to hold that and you can hit play. People call her a hero. Whenever you hear that, how do you feel? She is a hero. Mm -hmm. She is a hero. <laughs> when you see that, what goes through your head? I don't know. It almost brings tears to my eyes. Just, um, I mean, they know what I've been through and you know, it hurt them too, knowing um, what happened. And I mean, just hearing my dad say that I'm a hero just means everything. Um, I mean, they supported me through everything, and I can't thank them enough. Success as a gymnast has never been a problem for Maggie. But after controversially missing out on the 2016 Olympic team, she called it quits on her elite career and moved on to college gymnastics, moved on to the University of Oklahoma. Coming to OU really kind of changed my life. It really did. Maggie says she fell in love with gymnastics again at OU. She found her gymnastics family, and she found a lot of success. How many Big 12 titles do you have? Oh, I honestly don't know the number. Maggie laid out medal after medal, trophy after trophy in her bedroom for us to see. You're sleeping here about two feet from the <laughs> national titles. That's, yeah. that's got to feel pretty no, cool. No, it is really cool. And when people come into my room, they're like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. I'm like, oh, well. <laughs> yeah, but it's been amazing, and it's been an amazing ride, I would say. So it's really cool to like look back at all of this stuff and 
look back at the medals and the trophies and just knowing that I put in a lot of hard work for them. But there could have been more trophies and more medals. Probably should have been. Maggie's career ended early. Ended right here. Her last routine in her last meet on senior night. Six days later in mid-March, the college gymnastics season was called off. Only nine days before the start of the postseason. Canceled by coronavirus. Maggie's head coach broke the news in a team meeting. I don't know, I saw like a sheet of white. Because I was so like shocked and I know we were all like crying because we were really upset because you know we worked so hard. The six time individual national champion was favored to win at least one more championship. The Sooners were favored to win their second straight team title. It's very tough knowing that you know we could have won another Big 12 championship and we could have won nationals. Um, it's kind of hard to even think about it. I mean I do sometimes think about the what ifs. There are a lot of what ifs in Maggie's life. What if she would have gotten to finish her senior season? What if she would have never met Larry Nasser? What if people didn't know her as athlete A? She has an answer for that one. I think I always want to have that and that title um, just because, you know, I did come out publicly for a reason and if I can use my voice to help other people, I'll do anything that I can to ensure that not only gymnasts but athletes are safe at all times. This is the first time Maggie hasn't been competing in gymnastics since she was three years old. After nearly two decades of a career filled with fantastic ups and truly terrible downs, she's at peace with it being over. You know, I gave it everything I had in, in gymnastics, and so, you um, know, I just look back and smile. Maggie's days as a competitive gymnast are done. Still a daughter, still a friend, always athlete A. It's easy to see why so many people call Maggie Nichols a hero. Now, even though her career was cut short by the coronavirus pandemic, Maggie is not done with college gymnastics. She's staying in school to finish her degree and start working on her master's. Then next season, she'll be a volunteer student coach for OU Gymnastics. What a great person to learn from. Covering news that matters, I'm Nathan Thompson, Fox 23 News.